Hi guys, it's Jay. I'm back to work. Um, I have been off the last 20 days, 22 days. Um, yeah, it's a combination of my 12 days off and the rest was reserve days or my on-call days, which I did not get used or did, they did not use me for any trips. So I was just off. So, um, but today um, I was assigned the trip and I am in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Yes, I know, where is that exactly? Because I had to Google that airport code because I did not recognize it. But yeah, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. So um, I just commercialed in um, American Airlines. My company put me on American through Charlotte, which seems to be always the route <laughs> it's always vegas to charlotte and then charlotte to somewhere but yes so i'm here and then um for one night it's only a 15 hour layover tomorrow we work our flight from here to clovis new mexico that was another code i had to google um, and look up where that was but yes yeah, so we're gonna work a flight from here to clovis new mexico and then we're going to ferry the flight from Clovis to Dallas. So I'm going to end up in Dallas tomorrow night. Um, and then I'm in Dallas on reserve for the next four days. So uh, we'll see what they, uh, what kind of trip or if they're going to add, add any more to my trip. I am good for the next 18 days. I think uh, my day off is not until October 11. So um i can be out or i can be used up until october 10 because they have to get me home by october 11th and this hotel room nothing exciting i don't think i need to do a room tour on here this one is just me as long as it's clean that's all i care about as long as it's clean and it's clean so i'm um, probably gonna i don't know if i want to get some food or just eat something out of my food i brought some snacks and stuff yeah i don't know what i want to do yet so um i'll let you guys know uh what i figure out but okay talk to you guys later aloha good morning everyone it's that time time to go to work it's about 7 15 um van time is 7 30 so i'm gonna head downstairs i think flight hour is about or flight time is about two hours and 45 minutes so it should be a quick flight and um, yeah, so let's go to work today. And hey guys, so we're all done for today. Well, we're all done with our working flight. So we just worked uh, Fort Walton Beach, Florida to Clovis, New Mexico. And then now we're just gonna ferry the flight to Dallas. Um, it's about 12, 15 p.m. right now. And I'm not too sure how long the flight is from here to Dallas, maybe two hours and some change, but I'm just going to find me a spot on on the plane and probably take a nap on the flight over and maybe eat something. made it to Dallas I'm coming to you from my kitchen in my hotel room because this room has like almost like a full kitchen the only thing that's missing is like a stove or a um, like a hot plate burner but uh, well that is so isn't this a cool room and I'm glad that I have a room like this because I'm gonna be here uh, for three to four days since I'm on reserve but I'm so happy this room is so nice and modern but yeah, so made it here to Dallas, uh, the flight time, <laughs> remember I told you the flight was going to be like two hours and something, but ended up the flight was only like an hour, like 45 minutes to an hour. So it was a quick flight from uh, Clovis. Hey, it's Emma. Look, so I finally have a layover where we can finally hang out. So finally. I know. So we're having dinner and this is what we got. Same thing. We got steak and salad. Creek Grill. 
And my other crewmates got meatloaf, meatloaf, fish and chips. Ice cream. And this one doing dessert. <laughs> Cut that meat up. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, guys. It's the next morning. Um, it's about 7 a.m. And I just woke up. I'm going to go meet Emma downstairs for breakfast. Uh, this hotel does provide breakfast and you can actually dine in. Um, it's not like a grab and go. We'll see what there is uh, for breakfast. <laughs> Walking to our training facility, which is near the hotel, but there's no sidewalks. We're like along the freeway, so hopefully we can get there safely. Um, yeah. I don't. So, I'm not even sure if we can get across the freeway. So <laughs> we gotta see if we can walk across the freeway. I don't know. If we can do it, but. Like there's people there. Isn't that a guy there? Yeah. I don't want to go. Okay. You want to try walk along there? I don't know if that's safe. We decided that we're going to Uber it because the, the path like just walking. ended. There's no sidewalk and there was a guy sitting under the bridge. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, three hours later. So Emma and I are back from the training facility and we're just having lunch now at this place called LA Taco? Yeah, yeah LA Taco. So I got the flan pies and she got barbacoa. Mama's plate with barbacoa. The barbacoa tacos. So it looks good. So um, we're gonna eat up and then um, I'll have to say goodbye to Emma because she's gonna go back home. Uh, she's based here in Dallas, but her cousin's gonna come pick her up. So, but it was nice spending time with her finally. Uh, hey people, it's about 5 30 p.m. and I just said goodbye to Emma. She left to go home. Um, she is based here in Dallas, so um, she just left to go back to her home here. Um, earlier today, as you've seen, we tried to walk to um, our training facility because it's not too far from this hotel. But unfortunately, with the freeway, the freeway and the roads, and they don't have like a sidewalk and some random guy sitting underneath the freeway overpass, it was just not happening. So we ended up just going back to the hotel and catching an Uber there. Um, and once we were there at the facility, um, Emma got the paperwork she needed. And then um, it actually worked out because I wanted to order another um, vest, a uh, uniform vest. And they actually had um, a piece there. So I didn't need to have to order it and wait for it to come in. So I was able to just pick one up right there. So that was cool. And then we just Ubered back to the hotel um, and then hung out. And then we went to lunch. Um, over at that place um, that you've seen earlier clips of LA Taco and that was really good um, food but um, right now I'm probably going to just maybe take a nap for a little bit um, there is an update to my schedule so now instead of being here on reserve for four days um, my schedule was updated to commercial home tomorrow uh, which is Saturday and then I'll be home um, until look at my schedule Wednesday. So then this Wednesday, um, I have a trip assigned. So I'm going to be working actually out of Las Vegas, which is cool. So I'm going to be working a flight out of Las Vegas to Norfolk and then Norfolk to uh, where else? But to Sofia, Bulgaria. So I'm going to end up in Sofia, Bulgaria for about 20 hours. And then the next day, I'm going to work Sofia to Shannon, Ireland, Shannon, Ireland to i think it's jacksonville florida and then we're gonna ferry the flight from florida to dallas and then i'll be in dallas um end up in dallas on saturday this saturday and then i'm back on reserve in dallas so then we'll see if they update my schedule from there so i'm very happy to be going home tomorrow for a couple of days um before i head back out again so good morning guys it's about 8 15 a.m and um i got up about maybe 7 30 this morning so 
um, packed up all my stuff, so I'm ready to go. Uh, shuttle is gonna be about 9 a.m. Um, so today we head back home to Las Vegas and then I'll be there for about three days before I head out on my next trip. But this trip was a nice short one. Um, I'm so happy I got to hang out with Emma. Um, that was really fun and also um, getting to see uh, or getting to go over to our training facility because it was um, a new training facility since I was uh, in training back in February. So um, that was nice to see and also getting um, my uniform piece because I really needed that. So um, yeah, so I'm going to head downstairs probably to grab uh, something for breakfast and then um, I'm going to come back upstairs to grab my bag so that I can head back downstairs to catch the shuttle to uh, DFW. Um, but I'll probably see you guys when I'm in Las Vegas. So um, yeah, talk to you guys later. Aloha. Hey guys, it's about 9.30 p.m. and I just remembered um, I forgot to close the vlog today. Um, or I don't know if I'm gonna close the vlog now or um, combine this trip with my trip that I have coming up on Wednesday. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'll figure, what, figure that out later. But anyways, I just woke up from my nap, so please pardon the appearance. Um, but today, um, it was a quick flight, two hours, Dallas to Las Vegas. Um, I commercial on American. So my trip on Wednesday, so I'm on reserve Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then I start my next trip on Wednesday. And that's going to be exciting because it's going to be out of here because I've never worked a trip out of Las Vegas yet. So it's going to be out of Vegas. Um, so that'll be different. And... Also, I think I'm going to drive to the airport this time because I haven't driven and parked in the employee parking yet. So um, I've always gotten dropped off and picked up. So I think I'm going to do that and see how that goes. But anywho, I'll probably talk to you guys uh, on Wednesday. Um, okay, aloha. All right, I lied. I'm back. Um, it's the next morning and... I was double checking my schedule and I'm actually off right now. Um, I go back on reserve actually at 4 p.m. today. So um, so today I'm going to go and do my test run um, for my employee parking. So just to make sure I know where it is and that my key card, got my little key card thingy here, um, works for the gate. And then I'm actually going to go and meet uh, my friend Rochelle who I haven't seen probably I think since before training started. I got it on my first run. Let me see if my key card is gonna work. Employees only, no public access. All right, let's see if this baby works. Um, press badge against this card reader. It works. I'm in, I'm in, it works. Yay! I can park. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, so pretend I came back and then I'm going to go home now. So how do I get out of here? Uh-huh. Let's try go this way. Alright, so I come in over there. And then how do you get out? Oh, is this the exit? Okay, I think this is the exit. But then do I go left or right? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, so I made it to Boca Park and there's Roro, say hi. Hello. Uh, we went to San Balate first, but we decided to go eat. So there's a Cheesecake Factory nearby. Are they open? Yeah, they should be open. So we're gonna go eat in Cheesecake Factory first and then go grab coffee afterwards. But this is Boca Park in Summerland, which is where all the bougie people live. Just kidding, <laughs> but not, maybe. But anyways, um, yeah, so we're gonna go eat first and then do coffee afterwards. All right, so our food just came and I went with, um, what did I go with? Chicken, uh, chicken sandwich and it came with like a soup and a salad. And then Rochelle got chicken lettuce wraps. So it looks yummy. 
and they're probably gonna get like a cheesecake later because you can't come to Cheesecake Factory without eating the cheesecake. So um, I'll see which one we'll get. So I forgot that back in July, um, I was actually probably offline and I wasn't able to celebrate Rochelle's birthday. So this is gonna be her late birthday luncheon or lunch. And she decided to get, we're gonna share the Dolce de Leche cheesecake. And of course, when you come to Cheesecake Factory, you always overdo it. So we're probably not gonna make it to Samba Latte because they're gonna be so stuffed, but yeah. So happy birthday to Rochelle. Happy belated birthday. So we did not make it to Samba Latte, but we are walking it off now at Living Spaces. Oh, Magnolia Home. Uh, we're at Living Spaces, just walking around. Rochelle's actually looking for outdoor furniture because she has a new backyard that she just did. So we're going to go see what kind of outdoor furniture they have. But this place is one of my favorite furniture stores to shop in. My couch is actually from this store and they got so much nice stuff. So we're going to go look at all the pretties and see what we can find. This is very um, rattan. So we really like this fire pit, which is cool. Cause then you just um, hook up your propane tank under there. And then you have like a fire pit and it doubles as like a table. So this was one option. They have so much nice stuff here. Like a kid in a candy store. Like a birdcage um, lounger. This is really nice too. It's like nice and modern. Ooh, is that the same one or no? Dude. You've seen the yellow, that's why you came over here. <laughs> Michelle's thinking of getting this one because it's fake. Mine's dead. Because she's always killing her plant, so. What did you say? 250? 250. Well, at least we got some ideas. Ideas of what furniture to put in the backyard. Um, so we're gonna go Target. Target. For nothing but come out with yeah. $100 worth. They got stuff. Magnolia stuff too in there. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're probably gonna head over to Target. Oh, it's sunny. 